Imagine you are a day trader and you're learning to become one. And you see this massive message that's being pushed online. So because of that, you're inspired. You have 500 bucks in your checking account. And you decide to move that from your checking into a Robinhood account and start day trading. You blow your account. You lose all your money. And you're back to zero. <laughs> the point of this story, it's not to scare you and turn you away from risk. But it's to minimize it. See, this concept that the risk is the highest does not mean that the reward is also the highest. They're not parallel to each other. There are ways in my life where I have minimized risk while maintaining a high upside. And here's how you do it. Right now online, you see all this stuff. And, you know, a lot of people say it. I've said it at times too, but it's also taken out of context. This idea that you need to take a risk is true, but it needs to be calculated. And what you should be doing when people say start, get started, take action, the goal is the action minimizes the risk. And here's what I mean. This is how you define luck. When preparation meets opportunity, that's how we define luck, right? Minimizing your risk is through preparation, but the right preparation, the right preparation. And here's what I mean. I've been getting a lot of DMs lately about people wanting to get into sales. And there's risk with it. I'll be the first to say it. There's risk, dude. I was stressed out when I got into sales. I didn't have money. And now I'm supposed to start this job that's commission only. There is risk there. But also there's incredible upside. The ability to have location freedom, time freedom, freedom of money. To live a great lifestyle. To make money on your own dime. To not have a boss. That's all great things. But the risk is still here. So how do we bring that down? The best way to minimize risk is through skill. Right? Like imagine this. Poker. It's a risky game. Now if I've been playing poker. Not real poker. But essentially like trials. Right? Um, what's it called? Like with paper money. If I've been playing poker like this, I've learned a good amount. I'm experienced, right? I'm immersed in that environment. I've been watching videos, all this stuff. And then the time finally comes for me to play poker. I'm way well-versed, way well-versed. If another guy who's also at that table, when I decide to play with real money, has never played before, his risk is 10 times higher. And the reason being is I have some form of skill. Well, it might not be a lot, I have some form of skill. So whatever it is in your life, if you're looking to get into sales, you're looking to start a business, how can you minimize your risk? You need to gain skills, whether that be in sales, whether that be in you know marketing, fulfillment, whatever it is, absorb as much as you can. Become a student of your craft, dude. Right now, I truly believe it has never been easier to get ahead of most people. And the reason being is most people are amateurs. For most people, it's just a hobby. They're kind of interested. They do it for a paycheck. There's no devotion. There's no pursuit of excellence anymore. I see it in my industry all the time in sales. People are just so content with being average. People don't want to improve. And the difference between good and great is hundreds of thousands of dollars. Doesn't matter. If you're, if you're a day trader, if you're an agency, if you wanna get into growth operating, whatever it is, if you wanna start any sort of business, the difference between good and great is monumental. And how you get there is through obsession. Be obsessed or be average. That's the truth. Because when you see guys, the greats, the goats, Kobe, MJ, LeBron, whatever it is, dude, Brady, Tiger Woods, Phelps, they weren't just doing it for a pastime, bro. It wasn't a hobby. It was an obsession. Waking up before everyone else, going to bed later than everyone else, working harder, working more, working smarter. It's an obsession. So then when the time finally comes, when they have to play in the big stage and the risk is the highest, 
They're prepared. They have skills. They have put the time in. And that's how you need to start approaching it. Now, right here, this is a slippery slope. Most people think that there will come this day where they feel ready to start. That's not the case. It's never been the case in anything in my life, dude. You will never feel with 100% certainty that you are ready to begin, yet you do it anyway. That doesn't mean risking the house. That, that's not what this means, but it means you're prepared. You studied, you put your time in. Like for a brain surgeon, bro, they just don't say, all right, take the risk, operate. That's not what they do. They go through preparation. And obviously it's an extreme example. They go through like 10 to 15 years of training, which is crazy. We don't have to do that stuff. But if you're looking to minimize the risk to achieve success in your life, it comes through skill. It comes through preparation. It comes through hard work. It comes from working smarter. One of the main reasons I think why I was able to get my sales business off the ground was the fact that I had someone who already did it help me out. It minimized my risk. I had someone in my life who's saying, all right, look, there's potholes here. The road's downhill here. It's uphill here. This work, it's tough. This work, it's hard. Stay away from this. Look towards that. You have that. You have someone who's already walked the road because when you start this, bro, it is like the, this trail through the woods. And if you've never walked that trail, it comes with failure. Even, even if you've understood, even if you have a mentor, you can still fail. There's these temporary failures. That is the stepping stones to get to where you want to be. And you learn from these. Loss brings lessons. I've messed up on sales calls. I don't close everyone, but I learn from it. And that's the premise of it here. Minimizing the risk in your life. It comes through preparation. It comes from knowledge. It comes from experience. It comes from skill. And the best way to get these things is just being immersed, being obsessed with it. Whatever it is, dude, apply it to anything in your life. Anything. Become obsessed with it. There's this huge lie about, you know, this work-life balance. No, bro, I've never, I've never bought into that. This idea of like burnout and shit. And here's the reason why. What if work is your life? What if passion is your life? What if, what if you feel in your heart of hearts that that is why you were here? Because that's the mission I'm on. I knew when I got into sales, this is what I was made for. This is what I was born to do. And I knew that there was imbalance in my life. Stay up till one, two in the morning. My eyes like literally bloodshot right now because I was up till two last night. Training, working on our stuff, building out everything we could to make our product and service the best thing ever. It's an obsession, bro. It's not a hobby. And here's the truth. When you finally make the jump, right? You've prepared, you've readied yourself and you finally make the jump in whatever opportunity it is. When you've decided to commit, that is when life changes. Because now you can't go back. And this is called burning the boat. So you don't have a second option. Dude, when I got into this, right? I had great times. I had terrible times. I had the worst fucking nightmares of my entire life. Losing people. Losing team members, losing moving companies, bro. The whole nine, the ups, the downs, the being broke, all of it. But I made the decision. I can't go back. I can't go back to my nine to five. I can't do that. I've burned the boats. This is where I am now. That's, that's how it goes. When you're prepared and the day finally comes and you take the jump, you take the risk, it's almost impossible to go back to the way things were before because you view it differently now. Your eyes are open. You can't go back to the way life is because now you see what's possible on the other side. You have jumped the fence. That is the mindset it takes to make the risk play in your favor. You've burnt the boats, bro. You cannot sail back 
to being mediocre and being average. You can't go back to being ordinary now because you've seen it and you know for a fact You've seen the way this world works now, what's possible, what's capable, the lifestyle you can live, the freedom that you can have, the relationships, all of it. And once you have seen that, if you go back, you know, deep down in your heart of hearts, that will kill you slowly, but surely kill your soul. It will kill your purpose. Because when I got into this, I told myself, I can't go back knowing what I know now. I can't for better or for worse. It's a commitment. The people that I've seen do the best right out the gate in my industry, like sales and business, they were prepared. But also when the, when the time came for action, they still failed. There were mistakes. Granted, many and much less mistakes than if they weren't, but nonetheless, they're still there. It's a necessary stepping stone. So apply it to your life. Start learning, get that bus rolling, be immersed in the environment, be obsessed. It's, dude, temporary balance is how you get ahead. That's the name of the game. Like if you're anything like me, dude, you probably feel behind. The best way to get ahead of someone when you don't have the money, the resources, whatever it is, is to just outwork them. Not only in terms of working hard, but working smarter. That's what I would tell my former self, man. As far as minimizing risk or increasing your upside, upside. So I hope you guys found value in this. I hope you can apply it to something in your life. I know it can be confusing seeing all the messages online and not knowing what to do. That's my whole take on the subject. So as always, stay focused, stay committed, and start preparing. Take some action. And I'll see you in the next one.